The next step is going to be attaching our elastic. So I'm just going to start with my neckline all the way around to the back and all you're going to need to do is decide how tight you want it. Usually on the neckline it's a one to one ratio so all I'm going to do is I'm going to measure all the way around and figure out how much elastic I need just to put on my neckline. If you want it a little bit tighter, say around um, up here around your actual neck, then you can pull it a little tighter as you're sewing and you want to account for that as you're measuring it along. So I'm just going all the way around. So I'll need about that much. So then I'm just going to cut this off and sew these ends together. I found that that is the easiest way to start and then I'll just, if you want to, you can baste it on first. Um, I'm probably just going to use the serpentine stitch and the serpentine stitch will hold it in place. To make sure I get an even distance between all of my elastic, I'm going to first pin it right in the middle of my back and then I'm going to divide the elastic in half and find the middle of my swimming suit and I'm going to pin those two together so that way I have an even distance on both sides of the elastic and then I will do the same thing on this side so I'm dividing it up into fourths and I did pin all of that on the inside of the swimming suit. That's where we're going to be sewing it. And just, I'm gonna sew all the way around that. Once you have the elastic evenly distributed, you're ready to start sewing. And just line the elastic up right with the edge of your fabric, and then you just start sewing. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing for both of my armholes and you might have other pieces like um, lower back or if you have a cutout you might want to do that but we're not going to do the bottom of the swimsuit we're just going to hem that after this step. So on the armholes you might want to make it a little bit tighter especially um, right around here around your armpit area um, that can tend to be a little loose and you don't want that to be flappy so you might just want to pull a little tighter um, when you're sewing that elastic on, if you just stretch your elastic and sew it on, it'll s grunch it when it's done sewing and that'll help so it hugs your body tighter. Um, you don't want to do it too much, so this is where you might want to just baste the elastic on first and try it on and see how you like it and then do the serpentine stitch. So do whatever feels comfortable for you. We just don't want, I know I wouldn't want um, anything flopping open right here. Um, the back I'm not as worried about, but definitely nothing in the front. So just figure that out for your body type. Once I have all my elastic sewn on, now I am ready to turn it under so that it hides all the elastic as well as the stitching that will be hidden on the inside and I'm just going to top stitch that down. And I'm going to use my double needle for this. So I already have it in and I'm ready to go and all I'm going to do is this is the right side of my fabric and I'm just going to stitch right along the edge. And you want to be as close to the edge of your elastic so that way it doesn't curl up. Um, so the farther over to the left will be better, but you do want to make sure that you are still catching it. Okay. 
after all the elastic has been top stitched down, you are almost done. The last thing that we have to do is hem the bottom of our swimming suit. Now I'm just going to fold mine under so that it covers that zigzag stitching we did earlier. I'm just going to fold it and top stitch that just like I did the elastic, but this just doesn't have elastic in it. So I'm using that same technique of just folding it and top stitching that down. This is what it's going to look like. And that way you just have a nice clean finish on the bottom of your suit. Okay guys, now you are done with your swimsuit. I hope you guys really enjoyed this project. I had a lot of fun making this video. Make sure you like and comment below and make sure to subscribe. See you next time. Bye!